Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechaha Quraysh. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutation unto the elect. All right, now I wanted to address this uh, particular spirit uh, before it crept in amongst the brotherhood um, and caused division. All right, whereas you have particular men making videos saying that brothers who call Esau Edom by the name of E are scared, you know, taken away from the word or, you know, trying to save their YouTube pages, which mean that, you know, technically they, 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 they're scared and, you know, they love this world and. You know, we know the Internet is, gonna, you know, any, any all that spirit, period. You know, I wanted to address that before it crept in and caused division, because, you know, when you see particular brothers titles and these are men. All right. Who've uh, been faithful, you know, men who've uh, been preaching this word for years, man, you know, making their bodies a living sacrifice on the front lines, helping to build the tabernacle of David. And they may put E in their title for Esau, you know, now there was a point where any video, well, particular videos you put up with Esau in it, you know, they were taking it down, you know, any comment that you would put with the name Esau in it, you know, there was a point where YouTube wouldn't even allow the comment to stay up, you know, so what brothers did was just, you know, gave him the name E, you know, Easy E, that nigga E, you know, and it's become like a, a joke. You know, but brothers, you know, used the, the, the YouTube titles to call him E. So because that brother didn't put Esau, you know, there's going to be, the, you know, brother people, brothers are putting the spirit out there that these men are lesser in the faith than me because I say, I openly say Esau, which we do openly say Esau, the so-called white man is the Edomite. We've been saying that for years, you know, but if we just so happen to put E in the title, does that mean we're, we're, we're lesser of faith? than you no man all right furthermore the most high himself okay has cold words for this nigga e all throughout the bible all throughout the bible there's cold words for esau seer all right uh uh uh, uh the serpent okay the wicked the churl the vow man. There's various things that address this man, all right, to where it goes over people's head so that the elect in the latter days who receive the spirit can put the pieces together and it keeps everybody out. It, it, it keeps the rest of the people out, right? Even those in Israel, this particular men and women, the Lord don't want to get understanding. And he blinded them and shut off their understanding from getting it. So if we want to put E in the title, if we want to say E, that, that doesn't make that brother less of a, a man of the Lord than you because you're willing to put the full, the, the, the S, <laughs> uh, uh, the S-A-U, all right, and, uh, uh, instead of just the E. So brothers, get out of that spirit because what it'll do is it'll, it'll cause division, you know what I'm saying? And then you'll, you'll be, you know, every time, because it's like, it's like some brothers just, Look for reasons to be mad at men that are doing the work, man. And I get, I get what you're saying. I get it. But come on, man. Wow, you know, if it's that serious, just go to brothers, man. And I don't like, I don't, I don't, I really don't like how you say E. You probably mad, you know, f looking at the screen. I'm like, bro, why are you so mad? And who are you? All right. Now. This is just to, to stop the spirit, you know, nobody's wicked, nobody's going, but the brothers got to chill out, man. It's 1 Corinthians 2 and 7, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, all right? So this is a mystery, <laughs> even to Esau as they walk by, this is a mystery to all of these people. They're dead to this truth. This truth is only for the elect. You don't think the, the, the people who are in the spirit... Who, who are watching and learning and those who are going to get the understanding, they go get it anyway. Whether we say E, whether we say Esau, whether we call him Idumia, whether we call him Seer, whether we call whatever we call him, 
the elect go be sealed. We good. What are you brothers so mad about? Calm down. Oh, man, you scared, man. Most high. Well, you ain't worried. You scared. Now you got other men looking at brothers who may put E up or say E. Do you, you know? And for what? Why, why, why do we have to go through this? That spirit ain't needed right now, man. I just wanted to put that out there, man, because technically you should get on the most high. Let's go to. Uh, let me read this. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery even the hidden wisdom, all right, which God ordained before the world unto glory, man, which none of the princes of this world knew, for if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory, all right? So this, this wisdom is a mystery period, man, to these people, all right? I don't, I don't know whether you, you're saying it's taken away from the truth because they're not going to know who you're talking about. I mean, what are you... What are you ultimately, overall, what are you saying? Brothers ain't in the spirit. Brothers been on the front line. Bro, we've given our lives up. So this is the type of stuff that was happening in the wilderness. Here it is. Moses is trying to, and Aaron are trying to do their thing. And then they look back and it'll be a squirmish. Some dude frowned up mad, complaining about something. I don't understand it, man. So in order, before that spirit spreads and starts to cause division amongst the brothers let's put this out on the forefront man and deal with it because we need to deal with things like men and you openly start putting curtains you're, you're saying basically this 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 man is going to the lord will put him to death because he put e in his title that's the spirit you're putting out there you scared y'all scared now if a brother who you know ain't scared puts e in the title you got other men looking at him some type of way. Or if he put E in a comment. Because sometimes you'll put Esau in a comment and they'll take the comment down. So if you if you want the comment to stay up, you will be scared to just put E? Now, I mean, granted, now they're not taking down every video with Esau in it, a very every uh uh comment that if you put the name Esau. But come on, man. There are particular slangs and terms that 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 people who who form bonds the men of the lord had them they, 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 uh, what did peter and jew call niggas natural brute beast natural brute beast made to be taken into so so you get the sentiment that brute beast was one of the the terms that they referred to these wicked men who who came around the church crept in unawares man so we could call this nigga easy e the serpent, we can call him, you know, the left hand, Pharaoh, he's the modern day Pharaoh. Goodness gracious, brothers. Well, let's not devour one another, man. Ezekiel 35 and 2, son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against him. So because he did, because it didn't say Esau, is this, is, 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 is come on, man. Hey, what's that scripture? Devour not one another? Let me see, man. You got men just, just tripping, man. Calm down, man. I get it. I, I now, now don't get me wrong. I get I get what you're saying. I see your point. All right? But but in order for life in order to what, what what's more important? You being mad about that, or or, or you gotta be in order. You put that energy out there. Brothers are weak or brothers go die or come on, man. Let's see here. Maybe it's a James. Uh, one another. I believe it's one. And I don't want to make this too long. You brothers tripping, man. Goodness gracious. Let me see. Oh, man. So we're just dealing with, you know, there's particular things. We go stop right, right, right there. You know, and if, you know, here it is. A lot of you men give double honors, but your, your mind and your, you know, you just go do your, you go make your own, declare your own order. 
but he's the Edomite. Esau Edom is the Edomite, man. He's the, the, these, the, the people who rule this current world. Okay, yes. We've been saying it for years. You learned that from a man that the Heavenly Father set up. Maybe in James, one another. <laughs> Let me put this on airplane mode real quick. Let us love. I mean, we doing, are we all doing the same thing? We speaking the same thing? We doing the work? We building the tabernacle of David? What are you so mad at? Why are you trying to, you know, <laughs> you know, what, what, what's going on with your spirit, man? And you brothers don't need to be promoting that shit, man. Let me go to the book of James. That's the, you know, that, that type of behavior, you know, I, you know, once again, I understand. I ain't saying you a wicked person for, for wanting, you know, but goodness gracious, man. Do you under, do you brothers understand what you're doing? What's, what's happening here? Let me let me get it here. I, you know, pretty much is just saying, you know, we got to have order and love amongst each other, too, man. Some of you brothers be in the corner mad as hell. It's like, damn, what's up, what's up with this brother? <laughs> Let's see here. Because this whole this, this chapter is dealing with order amongst the brotherhood, you know, the, the book of James. But it's one, it's a scripture, you know, devour not one another or something, how it's uh, worded. All right. Here's a good one. Verse 13, who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. All right. Meekness, man. You have to be meek. This truth. You didn't create this truth. OK, none of us created this truth, man. We were blessed to even partake and to know what we know. One, four, four. Call all y'all about you being shy. Um, but if ye have bitter envying and strife in your in your minds, glory not and lie not against the truth, man. So you go say a brother ain't telling the truth because he says e, and you and 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 and, and, and somehow some way that brother is afraid. All right, bro. Next, next we gonna be cowards for saying Maxine. <laughs> I mean, goodness gracious, bro. This wisdom descended not from above, but it's earthly, sensual, and devilish, man. That's all, all of that, those, those carnal strifes, you know, to where you, you deem a brother wicked because he don't do things the way you do it. You're going to meet men in this truth who are going to challenge you mentally, man, who are going to do things differently. That's, 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 a, that's a way to refine you, okay, or you can become offended, man. And, and and get all in your feelings, man. Now you put this 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 energy out there. And brothers, look, and then other men, okay, they look at it and they start, oh damn, you know, and they start overthinking, and and and, and then the the spirit ain't flowing. The spirit got to flow with the brothers around the brotherhood. We all have different personalities. We may have different ways we do things, but the spirit got to flow. If the spirit ain't flowing, something ain't right. Fix it. If you around brothers in this strife and the, the spirit ain't flowing, you you know, now there's order and you have respect and we, we respect one another. It ain't like everybody just got to respect the head. The head don't got to respect. No, we all respect one another, but we have order. OK. You know, we, we you know, the, there there is order. 
there's a way to do things, you know. If I'm the youngest man in a room and, you know, I'm around the apostles and, and some food gets there, I'm not going to jump up. You know, if anything, I'm going to jump up and I'm going to say, you know, a, a, a apostle or whoever, uh, you want me to make your plate? Now, they may say, nah, nah, sit down, sit down, nah, 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 you know. But you're not first with your hand ready to eat, you know, and you're around, you know. So th there is order. There is order. There is a way. All right. But we have respect and love all right, for, for each other, man. Okay. There may be brothers who, who do things that for your personality, your spirit, you, you, you know, like in your world, that would have been lame or that would have been something that. You know, I'm, that's just not you. It's just not for you. Okay? Well, whatever you can take from that brother's ambition, you take and you, you use it for what your ambition is about the rest, leave it alone. You you going to make him wicked because he, you know, within his liberty, he may do something that you don't do. As long as it ain't wicked, you know. Right now, there is a time you may have to warn a brother, hey, I, I see you kind of going too far in this or that. But we got to be in order, man. So don't be out of order in these last days, getting all in your feelings and just putting stuff out there, man. If you're going to deal, deal in order. If you're not in the GMS camp and you 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 listen and watch, we'll do that. Grow, learn, st establish a ministry, preach the word. You know, don't put don't just jump and put GMS on your name, but. Hey, p p push the word. You have the liberty within, all right, uh, the, the spirit of the, the of Yahweh Bashim Yashah to push the word, man. But there is an order. Have you talked to brothers? You know, if you see a brother put up E, have you went to his page and say, brother, I don't want, you know, or went to him or try to figure out a way to, you know. That type of, that bitter envying and strife in your hearts is not good man and you're looking for a way and you got a lot of men who want their lick back from previous disagreements you know just trying to figure out a way to look man stop this wisdom descended not from above but it's earthly and you when you play on these things you could be so right in your mind that you don't think that you being out of order man This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly, sensual, and devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. Now you got confusion. You know? Now brothers are reposting the shit. And you saying brothers are going to die because they say the word E. Come on, man. If any, you be the example. Put Esau in every, you know, just put a, make a video and put Esau seven times as the title. Good for you, brother. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Where envying and strife, strife is, there is confusion in every good work. Then Satan is able to jump in and cause division. Now here it is, you got a group of brothers who, who are on the same page who were building the house, you know, they're building the tabernacle. Now they're arguing. Well, you know, the way, you know, I mean, the, the brick is fitting perfect, but the way, he, the way he put it up there, why he hiding the other brick? He don't want them to see him with the brick? You scared? Nigga, put the bricks out. Lips all wet, mad. And they're like, bro, just go do your thing, build. Now the scriptures say, watch how you build. The scriptures do say that. But now we're arguing and having strife amongst each other and, you know, looking at a, a, another brother some type of way over a simple, some simple letters. And if, if anything, say it in the Hebrew then. Ain't no E in Hebrew. If you want to beat it technical. But wisdom that is far, but the wisdom that is from above is pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without 
partiality and without hypocrisy. So if you were in a role of, 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 you know, having mercy or condemning brothers, brothers would be through over simple those letters. Where the A, uh, uh, where the S, uh, A, U at? Out of there, nigga, gone. Get, 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 destruction. All because I didn't put the, the, the S, A, U. Come on, bro. Supposed to have mercy on one another, man. Without partiality and what without hypocrisy, man. So I just wanted to deal with that, you know, um <laughs> we can't act like we acted in the world, man. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to uh that's why you gotta walk in the spirit because those fleshly acts and particular outbursts Sometimes if you just walk in the spirit and wait and just do your thing, okay, the Lord will work it out, you know? James 4 and 10, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren, he that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother speaketh evil of the law and, and, and judgeth the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. <laughs> Woo! There is one lawgiver who was able to save and destroy who art thou to judge another, man. And we're all walking amongst this body. And this is dealing amongst the brotherhood. There is a way we have to deal. Now, judgments go out. All right, but 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 you you sitting up here looking out the corner of your eye, figuring and trying to figure out a way to speak evil of a brother because you may not like his personality or the way he does things or whatever. But the brother's building. Okay, he may not. Hey, he may not have the lot you have. All right, you may have a bigger portion. You you may be the one the Lord chose to say Esau all the time. So maybe we can learn from your sacrifice. <laughs> right? Maybe, maybe maybe we are just some cowards and, and, and scared of, of, of Esau. Right? Come on, bro. So, yeah, man. I know James won. Let's see here. That's why it says here, uh, verse 12, James 1 and 12, Blesses the man that endure temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to do not love him. All right? Now, these temptations are going to come, man, in the form of thoughts and all sorts of things, but you got to endure it. Now, as, as something like the name of the Lord, if you want to, you know, say, well, why are you saying Christ instead of Yahawashai or Jesus instead of Yahawashai? That's a great argument. Because the Lord said, call upon these names for salvation. He told Moses, this is my name forever and my memorial to all generations. So are not we a generation of Israelites? So there is a name that we are to call on. The Messiah, when he was born, he was given a name. Before he was born, he was given a Hebrew name in Hebrew. It was an angel, Gabriel. You do a Gabriel came speaking Greek? No, he came speaking Hebrew because that's the language of the heavens. And when he came to the earth, when he came, he told Mary, this is what you're going to name this seed that is, has been conceived, that's going to be conceived in you. Before he was conceived, there was a name given unto him. And that name is Yahawashai. Okay? So to call that, that the, 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 what, what he did for us and what he means to us, we should be on point to that name. Now Esau, to hell with him. Why are we arguing over what we're calling this clown, this degenerate? He's being exposed. 
The word is exposing. Esau is losing. Esau is losing, man. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Verse 16. Yep, that's a good chapter. As a matter of fact, because it's dealing with these temptations, man. Let's see here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to just read this and I'm going to chill out. James 1 and 12, blessed is the man that endured temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive all right, the crown of life, meaning when you're tried, when you're tried by the Heavenly Father, you don't fold to the flesh. That's what Yahweh Shai, okay, uh, uh, that's that, you know, he, he was that personified, man. He endured the temptation. He was lied on. He was sped on. Okay, according to the flesh, he could have just off the mission and said, to hell with this, man. Nigga spit on me. Hell, I'm not going on a cross. You know, these niggas don't love, you know. If he gave in to the flesh, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither he, uh, neither tempted he any man, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. And that's this flesh. See? But when you walk in the spirit, you overcome the deeds of the flesh, man. And he set life and death before you. Okay, before you act, before you acted, you 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 didn't take into consideration what your action could do in, in, in if it helps or if it doesn't help, if it will destroy your life or if it will help your life. You just acted upon the flesh. Then you say, that's Satan, man. You know, sometimes it's Satan, yeah, but sometimes you you give Satan. A, 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 a room to do his thing through your actions so now it's a big mess when all you could have did was just kind of you know and I'm not talking about this specific situation but period man you know and that's one thing uh, you know us men you know we're not used to uh dealing in order amongst men, you know, what we grew up, you know, these cultures we took on, we, it was very emotional, it was very irrational, it has no respect, it doesn't know how to handle disagreements, you don't know how to just go your own way, you know, it's, 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 it's very, uh, you know, it's very, uh, because even Paul and Barnabas, you know, had a disagreement and went their own ways, all right, but what did they do? They did the work. They did the work, man. All right. But every man is tempted when he was drawn when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Okay, and that comes in many fashions. You may have a lust to be right. You may have a lust to get your lick back. You may have a lust to create your own vengeance because you feel wronged. You see? But now the person who did you wrong, okay, uh may they maybe they are wrong. But now you creating your own vengeance or, or trying to, you know, uh, do, you know, go outside of the will of the Heavenly Father and be patient and wait. All right. Or, or, or maybe it was just a test. You you now you're guilty. You were drawn away of your own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bring it forth sin. Now you're a sinner. Now you have sin. Now, when 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 Yahweh Shah returns, we we want to be basically forgiven for our sins, right? <laughs> you you're not gonna you know reap blessings unto yourself, behaving in 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 a in an unorderly way amongst the brotherhood in these times, man. Hey, the scriptures say alms make an atonement for sins. You should be in the spirit of helping brothers how you can. You know. Building brothers up, building, you know, the, the partaking in, uh, in this beautiful, glorious gospel and building the house of David. We supposed to be happy right now, man. 
See, but but when lust conceive it, bring it forth sin, and sin when it is finished, bring it forth death, man. Now Satan is having a party. For what? We're, we're supposed to be building the house of David. We're chilling. We're doing our thing, man. We're in the driver's seat. The whole world is reacting and being the whole, this whole world is being dictated by the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Everything everybody's doing. And we happen to have the words to speak those things into existence, man. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, var variableness, neither shadow of turning. You can't alter the Holy Spirit. We happen to have uh, uh, been blessed with wisdom directly from the heavens. You see? So these traits of the flesh and all of it, they can't dwell with that. You have to you have to fight to constantly overcome mortal thoughts and death and and these particular things. And that's the battle. Now, do we all fail? Yeah. Of his own will begot us. He begot us with the word of truth. A hundred percent truth. Right. That we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures, man. Woo! He gave us this word, man. So that we can be at the forefront uh, uh, with Yahweh Shai, man, as the governing body, man. So the first fruits. I want to be a part of that body, man. Hey, like like the scripture, like David said, I, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. <laughs> well, the doorkeeper is a very, very important, <laughs> you know, part as well, you know, of, of, of a temple, you know. But. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Your whole brother's going to die, man. And you brothers be mad, bro. You be like, damn, why, why are you so mad? Get that brother a mask. Put your mask on, bro. Go, go over there. We don't need them vibes. <laughs> we, we trying to stop the spread all right, uh, of, of the nigga virus. So you put your mask on, okay, and you go over there and get put the chicken down, you know. I'll take it, take you a deep breath, get you some uh, some alkaline water, and calm your ass down. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity and naughtiness. And receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Receive the gift that has been given unto you and take, you know, amongst the brotherhood, man, it's supposed to be a joyous thing, man. Now, we, we deal with issues. You know, we're not perfect, you know. But the constant, the, 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 the point, build brothers up, man. Lay aside, lay aside all of the, those mortal thoughts. Verse 26, if any man among you seem to be religious, all right, and what is a religion? Religion is technically something you always do, a way, all right, a particular way, you know, and your lifestyle should reflect your so-called religion, right? Well, what, what are we preaching? We're preaching the oracles, the prophecies, the, the, the law, statutes, the commandments, the, 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 the sacrifice, the priesthood, all of those things, man. If you if you really believe that, and you bridle not your tongue, you don't you don't watch what you say. You deceive your own heart, and basically, you being in this this thing is 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 in vain, man. Because you're not watching what you're saying. You're not watching. You got a lot of guys that just don't watch what they say. You be listening. John the Baptist ain't in the truth. 
Like, what, what, what are you doing? Yahweh Shah is going to have to answer to the, the Levites in order to get to the Holy of Holies. What are you saying? What are you talking about? Do you realize the stuff you're saying, man? <laughs> Before there was a Levite, there was Melchizedek. <laughs> he was already in the Holy of Holies. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a lesson on that, man. Pure religion is undefiled before God, and the Father is pure religion and undefiled um, before God, and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the vid widows in their affliction and to keep himself from spotted from the world. And that's not talking about going out, all right, to the corner and finding every homeless person and giving them some canned goods. Now, if that's something you want to do as a man, you, you have every right to do that. If you want to, you know. But the, the, the scriptures ain't talking about that. The, the way you visit the fatherless and the widows is that's Israel, man. The, the, the elect, okay, the, the, the rich and uh, faith poor of this world, man. The, the, those who believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you tend to them, okay, by building them up, okay, and bringing them back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Like uh, Yahweh Shai said in Matthew 25, you know, uh, when I was hungry, when did you did you feed me? Basically, what you do to the least members of this body, as a matter of fact, we'll end it off on that. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you get my drift. Matthew 25 and 45, then shall he answer them saying, verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not unto me. See that? So whatever you, basically, what you didn't do, all right, for, for, for the, the, the remnant, the elect, you know, basically you didn't do it for Yahweh Shai. You didn't visit them, you didn't comfort them, you didn't, you know, clothe them when they were naked, you didn't. You know, visit them when they were in prison. The prison is mentally, man. All right, so the point was made, you know, Shalom.